hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing good morning good evening good afternoon it all depends on when and where you're watching my video from and guys if you have not subscribed to my channel or you just see me for the first time please or see my video for the first time please don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the case squad beautiful family so guys in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i do my roasted yam or rather how i roast my yam you know in the part of the world where we live we hardly roast yam with uh, fire we don't have fire here to roast our yam so i normally use my oval in roasting my yam so i decided to show you guys today so first of all you wash your yam thoroughly as in clean wash it very well you can see the water coming out from that yam you can see how dirty the water is that is one of the reason or that is the reason why you need to wash your yam very well wash it in fact use sponge <laughs> if i use sponge in washing that yam wash it well and make sure it's clean look at that blue blue paint there i will make sure i wash it to remove that paint because i don't want to see any dirt or, <laughs> dirt or any sand on the yam so guys now i'm done washing the yam i'm trying to cut away the bad part the bad area uh, this yam I got it from an Africa shop close to my place I hope the owner of the Africa shop watch this video and see that this yam was not that perfect so it will return two euro to me what do you guys think <laughs> so guys my yam is well washed now so I'm gonna cut it into pigs yes cut it in a piece before putting it in the oven because if i put it in the oven like that without cutting it maybe it will take a whole day for the yam to roast you know now so first you have to cut the yam like this so that it will be easy because of light being now my people so because of light be cut the yam into piece like this so that it will not take too much time to roast and it will roast perfectly well for you so that's why you need to cut the yam into paste and i'm i will also be roasting plantain as well i have um unripe and ripe plantain both both the ripe and unripe plantain to roast first of all you wash the plantain yes i wash you can see me washing the plantain i wash before taking peeling off the back and then um, putting it in the oven as well so i'm going to be roasting this yam and um plantain together and i know so we come from nigeria so and this is one of our best food hobby like it a lot so i would advise you to try after watching this video try a roast yam for your husband especially if he's from nigeria precisely if from africa <laughs> so guys this is what i do maybe once in a while now my uh plantain and yam is ready to go into the oven and it is i just put them in the oven now just put the oven in the highest one the highest degree and uh, while my plantain and yam is busy gently roasting in the oven i'm about to make the sauce that i'm going to download it with i have uh, onions here and scotch bonnet pepper so guys what I'm going to do is match the pepper. For those of you that come from the village like me, me, hey, I was born and brought up in the village of Uromi precisely. So I'm here to, I'll match this yam now. Eh, sorry, match the pepper. I'm matching the scotch bonnet with the onions together. So mash them and I'm going to use palm oil in making this yam sauce. It's very very easy to make at least five five to ten minutes you're done so my pot is on the fire so after heating the pot I will just put my palm oil inside put the quantity that you like you know it all depends on how your yam is if it's big or small <laughs> so guys I just added my palm oil to the hot pot on the fire I 
I just added my salt as well and I'm now adding the, the pepper. The oil don't need to bleach, don't bleach the oil, just allow it to hot a little bit for, for just like a minute or two then put your, uh, your scotch bonnet and your onions to the oil then to the palm oil then allow it to to fry for some minutes like four to five minutes as you can see my onions and pepper and palm oil is is on the fire frying and i'll add i just added um added um oh what did i add i forgot it salt then what again did i add okay i added um Maggi, yeah, one cube of Maggi to eat, but I actually used powdered Maggi. Yes, I used powdered Maggi. Now I also will be adding my smoked fish. Yes, I smoke this fish myself. In case you don't know how to smoke your mackerel fish, I have the video in my channel. Please go and watch that video and see how I smoke my my macro fish is very very is an interesting video and if you're an African woman you don't know how to smoke your fish the video is here in my channel please go and watch the video so guys I added my smoked macro fish because my husband loves macro fish a lot and now my roasted yam is ready my roasted yam is ready after one hour 30 minutes yes it took one hour 30 minutes for this yam to be this roasted and um, you can see how crunchy it looks at the outside look at it it looks so crunchy look at how strong it is at the outside but the inside is so so soft so these are our roasted yam is supposed to look like you can see how crunchy it looks it need to be crunchy at the outside and very soft in the inside so i'm i'm peeling off the yam all you need to do is just take your time and peel away those crunchy back gently peel it off and um, allow it to cool a little eh? you allow the yam to cool down a little because when you bring it down from the oval it will be very very hot so you allow it to cool a little down so you can be able to hold it with your yam and peel it off you can see how soft it is in the inside but the outside looks so crunchy so guys i am still peeling the yam oh this yam that day it was so 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 delicious in fact i felt as if i was in my village that day <laughs> after when i was downloading this yam that day with this uh, sauce that i prepared this palm oil sauce that i prepared i was i was remembering everything that happened in my village that year you know I was remembering my uncles, my cousins, my parents that would normally eat this yam together. Now I'm done um, peeling the yam. You can see what I peel away from the yam. And now my roasted yam and plantain is ready. Thank you so much guys for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.